Hey Kindergarten, this is Mr. C coming to you with another science video. Today we are going to build the rolling pin pulley. And it looks like our materials just dropped in. So for this build you are going to need a rolling pin. You'll need two chairs and a helper. You'll need a heavy load. We are going to use books and weights, but you can pick something between 5 and 10 pounds is fine. And you'll need some sort of heavy string, rope, or I like to use parachute cord. If you go to Michaels or Home Depot or any hardware store, it'll be under parachute cord or it might be listed 550 cord. All right, once you have your materials, come and join me in the lab and let's get started with our build. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another science episode here with Mr. C. Today, we're gonna to be working on some kindergarten science. Now, before we go any further, you know what materials we have. I want to take a special minute here. We have a new special guest. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes. To my right is Grover Cleveland, but he goes by his full name, Grover Stephen Cleveland. Yes. Mr. Cleveland. Now, you wouldn't happen to be named after the 22nd and 24th president, would you? I, I was, and actually he was my great-great-grandfather. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, for you folks that don't know, Grover Cleveland was the only president in U.S. history to be elected twice. He was elected as our 22nd president, and then he didn't run again. I can go get a picture of him. Can you go get a picture of Grover yes, Cleveland? Would you? He was elected 22nd and 24th president, the only U.S. president to be elected in non-sequential terms. Pretty so, cool. Let's see where Grover Cleveland here we is. Are. We got Grover Cleveland, he's right there. As you can see, 22nd and 24th president. Sadly, he died in 1908. My goodness, wow. Hey, I, I didn't get to meet him though. No, you know what, you, that's what's great about this show is you never know what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about science, of course, uh, some days it may be geography. Hey, and today it's our U.S. presidents. All right, come on over here, Mr. Cleveland. All right, so as we said in our materials, um, the only thing you really need, a rolling pin. Um, it doesn't have to be the one that spins, although it's really good if it does. That's our rolling pin. Uh, we have some heavy rope. Now, if you have rope or heavy string, um, I like to use parachute cord, it's called 550 cord. Uh, you can buy it online, Michaels sells it. I even think Walmart might sell it in their craft section. So, um, really good. And then just some heavy books, really, because today we're working on simple machines. Now, I love simple machines. Uh, Grover, can I call you Grover? Yeah, sure. Cool. Grover, do you like simple machines? Yeah, I like simple machines, I use them every day. Interesting, right? You know, we think of machines as computers and, and yeah. tablets and the thing and the right? But it's actually not just that. There are machines all around us. Uh, you know what? I taught my transitional kindergarten science students and we learned about ramps. You know what we call ramps that go up like this? An inclined plane. It's pretty cool. But today our kindergarten, we're gonna learn about the pulley. So, before we go any further, we're going to take, magically take this table away, and then we're going to get back to our lab. Are you guys ready? Yeah, and also Mr. Carey. Oh, yes, go ahead, please. Um, my great-great-grandfather grew up in Cleveland, as you know. He used simple machines almost every day as well. I think he did, yeah. You know, he was, and that was a time right when the Industrial Revolution, late 1800s. I think we're getting a little ahead of our kindergarten yeah, students, but, hey, kindergartners, don't forget, Industrial Revolution... 1800s, Grover Cleveland, 22nd, 24th president. All right, hey, let's go ahead and take this table away. You ready? We're gonna take it away in yep. three, two, one. Okay, hey, we're back without our table and it looks like we've got everything set up. Um, you are gonna need your two chairs and we're gonna put the pulley or our rolling pin right here, okay? Now, before we use our pulley, we need to see how much work this really is. So, hey Grover, can I have you lift this up? And these are our books. All right, we're gonna lift it up just with the string. So go ahead and let's follow along as Grover does this. Go ahead and lift it up. 
Oh, not bad. Now just pull it just with one hand, just like that. Don't wrap it around. No, don't wrap it around. That's cheating. That's cheating. All right, go ahead and lift it up. No, 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 no. But with the string, it's getting tired. You getting tired? Okay. What do you think? Is that pretty tough? Yeah, it burns my hands. All right. Okay. So that this is about six pounds, right? Two big heavy books. Okay, and it's hard to get a grip on this. Uh, so when you lift this up, this feels like six pounds. There's a way we can prove that though, right? Instead of just saying, ooh, that's really hard, or ooh, that's really easy, uh, you can use this spring scale here, right? We've got a spring scale here. Um, it measures it in kilograms, um, which me personally, I think everybody should be using. Uh, but we've got kilograms here. And on the other side, it has newtons, right? Now this tells you how much work you're doing. Remember work. The definition is just energy you're expending to lift something up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my spring scale and this is what happens. You hold it here and the more you pull it out, it tells you how much work you did. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap, don't need to tie it, just gonna wrap the string around here, just like that. I'll tie a quick overhand knot just like that. And then we're gonna see how much work we're actually doing, okay? Just like this, okay? So now, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up. Okay. Now, for you folks at home, obviously you can't see what I'm doing, but there we are. I'm lifting the book up and my spring scale, it says I'm doing, looks like about 40 Newtons of work. Okay, so just remember that, 40 Newtons of work, okay? Now, let's go ahead and try it with the pulley this time, okay? So here's our pulley. I'm gonna set it up right here. Grover, let me have you sit over there. So I'm gonna set it up a little bit like this. And to use a pulley, Pulleys are really useful because it helps make heavy things seem kind of light. It's not actually making them lighter, it's just a machine doing another job for you, which is kind of cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this here and I'm going to hold one end and I'm going to have Grover come over here and hold this end and we are going to, all I'm going to do is just pull like that. Not bad, right? Let's spread this out a little bit so we don't need friction. And all you're gonna do is pull. Now I'm gonna have Grover try that. Go ahead, Grover. Go ahead and give that a go. I'll, um, I'll hold like this and go ahead and give it a go. Now, did that seem easier or harder? It seemed a lot easier. Seems a lot easier, right? And there you go, right? And let's, let's show a, a front view to the folks here, go ahead and pull again. Pretty easy, right? Now, again, I can say, oh wow, yeah, that's really easy. But can we measure that? Yeah. Of course we can. Let's use our spring scale. Now, we're gonna explain why that's easier in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and loop my spring scale in there and I'm gonna have Grover hold one end and you're going to have to trust me on the reading, but I'm going to go ahead and pull down. But now, I'm actually doing less work. Uh, this is down around, thir let me see, yeah, 30, 30, between 30 and 35 Newtons. So we've actually done less work. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Now, let's go back to our table, have our discussion, but I want you kindergartners out there to experiment with this. Try taking really heavy things and just seeing how easy this is compared to that, right? Uh, I would say probably with this and chairs, don't go more than like 10 or 15 pounds, especially for my younger students out there. I don't want you dropping your foot getting hurt. Uh, but if you have adult supervision and your mom or dad has kettlebells or really heavy dumbbells, by all means, give that a go. All right.
back to the table and let's figure out what's happening here. All right, hey, so we're back. Let's talk about what's happening here with our pulleys, okay? Now, anytime you lift something, like not only are you having to lift the weight, but what else are you having to fight against? I'll give gravity. you- Gravity. Gravity, I was gonna give you a hint. Yeah. Gravity, anytime you drop something, gravity. So not only are you trying to lift six pounds, you're also fighting gravity and you can't get a real good grip on this, right? Even if I had a handle, I mean, it's still going to be kind of difficult, right? So anytime you can make a job easier by using a simple machine, you're doing less work. Okay. Now you're lifting the same weight. It's still six pounds, but the amount of the amount of distance I have to lift this by, and I'm going to have Grover do this. I'll just hold this here. He's going to go ahead and loop it over, but I can just increase, go ahead and pull, pull up. So he has to increase how far he pulls the string, right? And that's something you're going to get into a little bit later, probably uh, third, fourth grade, I start talking about, um, you have to move it a longer distance to lift the same weight, but was it a lot easier than lifting straight up? Yeah. Right. So that is a simple machine, your pulley in action. Anytime you can pull down, you're actually working with gravity um, and using this rolly thing, your pulley, to help make this lift. Now there's pulleys all around you. Where have you seen pulleys before, Grover? Uh, I think I've seen them. I put them. I put them on the spot there, by the way. Did not rehearse yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, I think I've seen them, like, I feel like I saw, like, a video of, so, Leonardo da Vinci, um, he was, like, doing a painting, I think he was, like, doing a painting up there, okay. and his workers had to, he, he, he refused to come down to get lunch, so they put chicken wings in the bucket, and then they pulled it up, so Ooh. he could have it. That's good, you know, and I've got a video at the end of this, um, that... You know, I, I can show you a pulley in action of how they actually move furniture in, a, I think it's Denmark. Denmark or the Netherlands. Um, really cool, but yes, lifting food or objects really heavy up high. And also, I mm -hmm. went to the Children's Museum. They have a pulley where you put fake apples in it, mm -hmm. and you could go down and you Ooh. can go up. Was that the Sonoma, Sonoma County Ch Children's Museum? Yeah, it's really fun there. It is really fun there. Um, hey, if you haven't gone to Sonoma County Children's Museum, uh, hey, check out their link up here. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. And they're actually still doing some great things with uh, you know our COVID-19 oh, coronavirus yeah, thing. Uh, another hint, every morning at school, they, they raise this up, um, and at the end of school, they bring it down. What is it called? The American flag. American flag. And what's the way that we move the flag up and down? A pulley. Not just one, there's actually two pulleys there. Yeah. So, and if you want to see how to do pulleys, uh, hey, second grade, and you're watching this, we're going to be making flag pulleys for this week's Science Build. All right, hey, that is all for today. Uh, if you like this video, click like. If you didn't like it, please let me know before you say you don't like it. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you, Mr. Grover, Stephen Cleveland. Always a pleasure to have the great, 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 great grandson of the 22nd and 24th President of the United States. Yes in our studio today. Thank you so much, Grover. Great to have you on board. Yep. Hope we see more of you, all right? Yeah. Um, if you did not get Kindergarten's last week video, click right over here by Mr. Grover. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click over here. That's all signing off. Mr. Carey, Mr. Cleveland, we'll see you all next week. Yeah.